I'd like to call the meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thanks for coming, everybody. Um, hope you're enjoying the heat wave. First day, I think it's been above 20 this year. <laughs> a little part of last year. Uh, roll call, please. Barbara Sharp. Here. Joanne Shirky. Here. Cindy Valentine. Here. Artie Bryson. Here. Christy Hillman. Here. Chris O'Regan. Here. Sandy Kufo. Here. Okay, we're all here and accounted for. I'll entertain a motion for bills payable. Make a motion for bills payable in the amount of $59,717.50. Support. <clears throat> we have motion and support. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Joanne Shirky? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Ernie Bryson? Yes. Christy Hilton? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Sandy Kufo? Yes. Mark Bruchard? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, next, we have public comments. Is there any public comments anyone would like to make? No public comments? You got anything, Bill? No? Okay. Happy New Year, everybody. All right. I do want to say you guys look really sharp. I love the ties and the suit coats and everything tonight. <laughs> it's a new year. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> we got presents. <laughs> we all got new ties and blouses. <laughs> All right, uh, moving right along the consent agenda. We do have a game tonight, you know, a college football game tonight. So, consent agenda, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda, including the minutes of the board meeting of December 18, 2017, and synopsis, <clears throat> check reports, December assessing and police reports, the January parks and rec updates, end of year assessing report. There's a notice for the Planning Commission meeting dates, communication, updated township directory, and a request from Barb Schutt for continuing education of $50. Support. Okay, motion and support. <clears throat> Any discussion on that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Very none. All in favor of the consent agenda as presented, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Next. We go right into supervisor's report. Everyone grabs their coffee. <clears throat> yeah, everyone grabs a coffee. <clears throat> Been a busy, uh, we, we were pretty busy over break. Um, uh, I reported actually in this report too that we had to replace a starter in our backup generator on the island. And that, that generator actually runs our fire department and the Lions Hall on the island, which is our warming center over there, emergency. Um, uh, center and it wasn't we found out just uh, recently it wasn't the starter is actually a bad ground going to it so mm -hmm. that was good um, and then we had a, a couple three pro probably water main breaks over the break with all this uh, cold water and the water department was just jamming the whole time we had lots of frozen pipes uh, they were they were busy uh, kudos to them. Um, and uh, as you recall, our last meeting, our video, our audio wasn't working at our um, uh, meeting, so I got Michael here taping this one. Thank you, Michael. Yep. And um, we, we did get a lot of the equipment in to, uh, uh, for, for a brand new system, and it's, uh, the, I'm not going to say it's the best, but it's very high tech. Um, and uh, our next meeting here should be up and running. We got to get a couple of small things and uh, and get it going. But uh, with this equipment, we'll actually be able to do uh, eventually once it's set up and get some uh, uh, di di uh, internet connectivity in the room. Uh, we'll be able to do live streaming of our meetings too. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> we can actually do a green screen back here and have scenes. <laughs> So, <laughs> coming, maybe on the beach one day. Yeah, coming from Bora Bora. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, we were we were actually busy over the break uh, getting that going. Uh, 
We did have a, a small small ice jam. The ferry was closed New Year's morning, New Year's Day morning from about 4.30 a.m. to about 8.30 a.m. And um, we, I just want to mention, we did uh, put out a winds notice uh, that, that, that it was down, but there was a, a glitch in the system where that, that notice didn't go out, but that was fixed, actually. So that shouldn't happen again. But it was closed for about three hours, and uh, but all the other protocols were in place. Um, uh, you know, we had communications with the Coast Guard. In fact, New Year's Day, during the halftime of the Outback uh, game, <laughs> the Coast Guard called me with the possibility of sending the cutter down the North Channel. I told them that wasn't a wise idea. And uh, I was also on the phone with the uh, uh, Corps of Engineers, and they also agreed it wasn't a wise idea, so it didn't happen. But we, even on New Year's Day, you know, all, all the communications were there, which made me feel good. And uh, uh, so it, it's working. And to, to go beyond on that discussion, we have staged over there equipment for uh, SEMCO, DT, our water department. We all have bunch of equipment staged over there, so in the event, if there was an ice jam, we couldn't get vehicles across. We already have emergency vehicles with just about any part we can think we might need over there already. So uh, all we have to do is get the personnel over there to take care of any uh, problems that we might have. And, uh, um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty well organized as much as we're going to can be for any event that might happen during an ice jam over there. Um, the DNR is holding a watercraft control hearing January 11th. That's this coming Thursday. City of Elignac, their city hall, about creating a no wig zone in the city itself. Um, Do you want time that is on? Seven o'clock. <clears throat> and uh, is the proposed uh, area is from the entrance of the Harbor Club to the boat ramp across from the Dairy Queen. And uh, we had a lot of discussions with a lot of people about that. And actually, uh, we just met with uh, Bill Graytop and Denise, their city manager, this past week about you know issues on the water. But um, the, Is this the same area that they approached us and we had a yes. public hearing about last year? Yeah, we had actually two public hearings. And um, that's OK. You can interrupt me. Just no, it no, it is, and uh, and uh, sorry. Yeah, we had two public hearings, and not one person actually was in favor of it at our hearings. And I know Elignac had had this, uh, a hearing, and there was a lot of people that that was for it. But after they thought about it a little more. Um, a lot of the same people actually came here and said, yeah, we don't think it's a good idea. Uh, the DNR is going to hold an investigation and uh, a public hearing. My gut feeling is it's not going to go through. I don't think there's anything wrong with the existing 200 foot, 600 foot rule. It just needs better enforcement. I think that's what um, the, the majority of the, of the people feel. That's my own personal uh, thinking. but. Uh, um, I had a lot of people ask me about that. Um, we are developing some new bylaws for the Library Advisory Board. Uh, the biggest thing we're going to change it from to a from a seven to a five member board. Two from Elgnac, two from uh, Clay, and then one person at large from the St. Clair County Library System will be on that. And uh, we're kind of defining their scope uh, a little more. Than it was, it, I, we we couldn't actually find any bylaws for them, yeah. so um, uh, we thought we we should uh, kind of uh, clarify that and, and get it down uh, on paper. Uh, let's see. I talked about the Trail Town Grant last meeting. Um, still working on the DNR Trust Fund Grant. That's that's uh, uh, to buy the kayak access site on the island. We do have a public hearing at our next meeting, January 22nd, on Harsons Island. It's at 7 o'clock. And um, I am actually uh, 
enrolled in a, a workshop for grants with the DNR on February 8th. That's at, uh, gonna be at downtown Detroit. Um, we did finish our asset management and capital replacement plans for our water and sewer systems. Um, if you're really bored, I got them here. I can e email you a copy or you can review it. Um, basically, it says we're in pretty good shape. There was no big surprises. Uh, they did mention that uh, the DEQ or in the study that they really think doing the um, water main project on the Colony Road is a very good idea. And they did mention that uh, eventually we're going to have to address uh, water pressure uh, via um, a water tower or a pump pump system, a pumping station or something like that down the road. These are all things that we, we know. Um, and, and we still have that old water main along M29 and they even mentioned in there, we might need a second uh, feed to cross the island. And, and I've had talks or, you know, informal talks with the board about once we retire some of our water debt, go ahead and, and uh, maybe do that project, replace that water main and put another, at the same time, put another feed over to the island. Okay, where am I? Oh, we got a busy week ahead. Uh, tomorrow I got a, a meeting at the St. Clair County Road Commission to go over some road projects. Wednesday we have our tour of the wastewater treatment plant, if anybody's interested in it, at 10 o'clock. Um, we're going to have a couple people from Ira and the city of Ellinac there, and so I thought I'd offer it to you guys if um, if you want to see the other end of the operation. <laughs> I don't know how else to, to explain it. Okay. Um, also, just wanted to mention we do have a scheduled a mediation with the um, Michigan Association of Firefighters, January 23rd. Uh, to go over our, some of our outstanding issues that we haven't been able to resolve. And uh, upcoming events, I did want to mention uh, this last Friday, we had a, a bus that go down to uh, a Little Caesars Arena for the Red Wings game. That was a great event. Thank you, Cindy. It was a lot of fun. And upcoming events, uh, Consumer Education uh, Series, Thursday, February 8th here, 7 o'clock. So going over identity theft, I know we had this about, oh, on the, uh, last year we had it on the island before we had it on the mainland. Would you say the eight? Yes. Yeah, I updated that mine. Oh, it's okay. a typo. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, there, there's a lot of new information, that's why we brought it back. Um, and uh, then going on Tuesday, starting tomorrow, we have our 2020-20 fitness program. It's uh, 20 minutes cardio, 20 minutes core exercise, and 20 minute weightlifting. Right, Chrissy? Yes. 6.30 to 7.30 at Millside. $42 for the six weeks, or if you want to drop in for one class, it's 10 bucks. Uh, that's Tuesday, 6.30 7.30. Also, same time. We have yoga classes Tuesday starting tomorrow at 6.30 to 7.30 at the Conquin uh, Junior High, right? Is it? Elementary. Or, I'm sorry, elementary. I still call it junior high. Mm -hmm. at, uh, in the, it's in the library, right? Or, yes. Okay. Yep. On Marsh Road. On Marsh Road. Uh, Wednesdays, we have our Zumba, Zumba class, 6.30 to 7.30 at Millside, and again, that's $42 for the six weeks or a $10 drop-in uh, fee. And we also have a Young, young Rembrandt's Kids Drawing class starting um, Tuesdays on uh, January 30th. It's going to go five weeks. It costs $49. It's going to be Tuesdays, 3.30 to 4.30, and that's also at Millside. That's open up from kids from 5 to 7, so I can't go there. They won't let me, because I kind of wanted to. If you have any questions on any of the stuff, the Parks and Rec stuff, get a hold of Cindy Babish in our, uh, uh, in our office, or uh, like us on Facebook, uh, Play Township Parks and Rec, and I think we have one called the Splash Pad, too. But uh, all that information's on there also. That's all I got. 
So, moving right from there, do we have a fire chief's report? You got something, George? Yeah, a few things. Good evening. Um, for the month of uh, December, I attended one, one meeting, and that was the St. Clair uh, Fire Chiefs Association. Uh, we talked about the Fire 1, Fire 2 class that's coming up. In fact, it started the uh, 2nd of January, and we have one firefighter in there. Uh, Down River Goodfellows had their pay for sale December 9th, and on the 18th, they uh, packed uh, food baskets and delivered them. Uh, we supported 97 families this year, and that was in the city of Algonac and in Clay Township. Uh, we also brought the airboat across uh, in the event that the river does close. We can get, get some transportation back and forth uh, across. Uh, I've also been in contact with Tri-EMS to set up uh, ALS unit over there. will be manned uh, in the event that these ferries shut down. They'll, they'll have we took over. extra beds over there for them in case they have to spend yep. the night, right? Yep. Yep. And uh, I would like to thank DPW for plowing out the DNR lot. And, uh, on New Year's Day for us. That's our staging area in the event that the uh, ferry is shut down. That's where we meet and we go back and forth across the boys club. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, George. Thank you. Okay, we don't have any unfinished business. We finished it all last year. <clears throat> Under new business, we have uh, resolution 2018-01. St. Clair County right away. We have to do this every year. Um, basically, uh, the County Road Commission wants to make sure that we have insurance covering, liability insurance covering our workers. That in case they have to broke a water main or something, we have to work in the county right away. And uh, we put them up. We actually named them on our policy. And uh, this is basically saying that, yep, uh, we do have it. And uh, uh, it's a yearly thing that we, uh, they request us to uh, pass, so it's on the agenda. I will make a motion to adopt resolution 2018-01, St. Clair County right away. Support. Okay, we have motion and support. Any discussion on that? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Cardi Bryson? Yes. Christy Hilton? Yes. Chris Arias? Yes. Sandy Kufo? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Joanne Shirky? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Okay, motion passes. <laughs> Next we have resolution 2018-02. Opposition of House Bill 5096.5098. What this is, um, and it, it is needed. They're in the uh, middle of designing a new wireless network. Uh, it's basically mostly uh, on all the roads. Um, basically, it's almost like, I don't know if they're going to coin it. I heard about six months ago they're going to coin it as the 5G network. I don't know if that's, I haven't heard that in a while yet. But it's basically going to be a wireless network so all these cars can talk to each other. You know, the driverless cars and, and uh, you know, if there's a car, you'll be able to see other cars. I mean, off in the future they're talking about. And uh, so what it is, these wireless, this house bill is uh, allowing the, these wireless uh, providers to put antennas in the county road right away without any say so from the county road or any of the locals. Um, now, they do the, um, to give you a little information, the cellular towers <clears throat> that you see around, uh, they have to come before our planning commission to, to get okay, but there's only a few, I can't remember off the top of my head, there's only a few reasons we can deny it. Uh, we can't say, oh, it looks ugly there, we don't want it. Uh, the planning commission doesn't have that authority. But uh, our problem is here, the way it's set up, and it's actually happened to a couple counties, a couple counties up around Flint, they're putting these pretty good sized towers, literally three feet in, outside the white line on the road, and it could be a safety issue. Uh, they don't really know if uh, what utilities we have have there or plan to have 
And uh, that's why we're opposing this. It's basically taking control, local control away, f or, or control away from the local governments on this. And um, there, there wouldn't be any really <clears throat> oversight on where these, these structures go. And uh, St. Clair County Road Commission, Kirk Weston, asked me to, to uh, oppose it. We, uh, we did have some discussions, I think I brought it to our board's attention four or five months ago, that this is coming down the pipe. But that's what this resolution is. That we're, we're, we oppose this House bill, and uh, if we do so, um, pass it and sign it, I'll forward it to uh, our, our guys. At, uh, um, at the House and the Senate for that matter, and I have about four or five uh, pretty good friends in Lansing, and I'll also shoot it too. So, I don't know, does anyone have any questions about it? Or I, we can wait till... Well, this also pertains to limiting, they want to limit the fees that we can charge as well. Yes, yes. So we're opposing that they're... It's not for, mainly for the fees, them. it's actually the placement of these structures. But, yeah, affect our infrastructure, water main break or something, I mean, all kinds of things. Well, there would be like, you don't want a cell tower over our water main, right, John? Right. <laughs> 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 Unless they give us a new water main. Yeah. Right. So. I'll make a motion to uh, adopt resolution number 2018-02. Opposition to Michigan House Bill 5096-5098. Support. Okay, motion and support. Any more uh, discussion? Hearing none, uh, roll call vote, please. Christy Hilton. Yes. Chris Arena. Yes. Sandy Kufel. Yes. Mark Bouchard. Yes. Joanne Shorty. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. Artie Bryson. Yes. Okay, motion passes. Uh, next, we have a request to purchase uh, ammo uh, it's for training. And uh, I know I talked to Chris O'Regan about it a little bit. It's a pretty darn good price. This is for um, training, and it's out of our uh, our one fund that can't go for anything else but you know training. And uh, um, <clears throat> so we're requesting approval for the twenty nine. $185.20. I'll make a motion that we support the purchase of uh, Winchester ammo through Vance Outdoors for the Clay Township Police Department. The amount due is $2,985.20, and that'll be coming from line item 207 000 960 03. Support. Okay, motion to support. Any discussion on that? Good price. Yep. You said it was about a th uh, third cheaper than. Yep. <laughs> so. Then Cabela's. Then Cabela's. Well, that's about uh, half of Cabela's. <laughs> yeah. Cabela's. <laughs> so. All right, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes. That goes right into our board member comments. Start down there with you, Mark. Okay. Happy right. New Year. Happy New Year. Now, the Planning Commission, we're going to have a, on Wednesday, we're having a meeting. I think we missed the last one due to the weather. Uh, but uh, we're going to be reviewing site, a site plan for animal boats. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, some hobby animal uh, ordinances, uh, setbacks, and some zoning maps that we're going to uh, review and uh, kudos to uh, our service departments it's brutal out there I know every time I heard a siren at four below <laughs> okay. you guys. thank you yeah. nothing really we didn't we had one meeting for the uh, zoning board of appeals uh, which was uh, denied and uh, I don't believe there's one coming up. No, we don't have anything scheduled. Nothing scheduled for this, this month. And I'm glad to hear with my conversation that everybody had a nice vacation over the holidays to spend with their families. That's it. That's it. 
Thank you. I just want to thank Cindy Babish for organizing the Red Wings trip. Um, it was a nice night. I think everybody had a great time. And looking forward to the next one. Okay. Sandy? I just want to invite the community out to Pearl Beach Lions Hall on Saturday, the AYFL um, youth football program will be organizing a chili cook-off. Now it starts at four and watch some football and win some prizes and support our football league. And cheer league. And chill. Sorry. Football and cheer league. I'll be there. Alright. <laughs> you make a chili? You make a chili? No. Uh, my daughter in law is. Alright. Sounds good. Well, good luck to her. Christopher. Ernie, uh, I just want to remind everybody um, the weather's going to warm up and uh, it's indicative of uh, um, some meltdown. Uh, make sure your drain spouts are, are on correctly. Uh, get the water away from your home. Um, also, if you're experiencing a large amount of ice on your east troughs and uh, ice damming at your property, it's usually indicative of uh, a number of things, including a lack of insulation. So maybe contact uh, uh, a local contractor or Licensed and insured HVAC technician take a look at that stuff for you. Um, but the next couple of days, as it warms up, it'll be time to, to address those issues. Uh, I think you'll have Wednesday and Thursday to take care of a lot of that stuff, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it looks like it dips back down. So good luck to everybody. Thanks to John DeBoyer for all his hard work in his department, and thank you to Cindy Babish for an outstanding time last Friday. Happy New Year, everyone. And I would like to remind our citizens, if you have pets that are outside, to please bring them in the house in this, or the garage or something in this inclement weather. It is too cold for pets to be outside. Very good. Um, I, I kind of, well, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. But uh, be safe on the ice. Uh, it is going to get warm out there. And there is lots of ice. but. Uh, I know uh, out in Anchor Bay, there's what is it, the stress cat cracks are called? Pressure, or, pressure ridge. Yeah, pressure ridge cracks, where um, you know, the, it's, it's almost like an earthquake, how, how the plates go on top of each other. And they're, they're actually, and they make a huge noise. Sounds like a shotgun's going off. But, uh, you know, they're, in fact, driving back, I was out by Anchor Bay. They're only 10, 15 feet off the shore. So be careful running around there. I know it's fun to run around on your, your uh, cars and doing donuts and stuff out there and uh, I won't lie I've done it I probably will do it but uh, be careful when you're out there and uh, respect everybody else too out there um, and uh, yeah be safe motion to adjourn second all in favor aye, aye. thanks for coming everybody